Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squad for boxing news and views from around the internet. The rising prospect Filip Hergovic has advanced to 9-0 with 7 knockouts following a third round stoppage against Mario Heredia in Mexico on the Estrada Beam and Undercard. It wasn't a perfect performance by Hergovic but he did enough to win, ultimately wearing Heredia down as many of us expected. But I think I personally thought he would look a little bit sharper, a little bit slicker in there, but he actually took some time to work out the fast hands of Heredia to time him, slowly grind him down, obviously the third round is where it ended, but he was a little bit scratchy, and I want to come to a couple of thoughts on that in a moment, but first to the action proper, it was actually a relatively competitive first round, uh, Heredia, his fast hands, troubling Hergovic somewhat, uh, Hergovic looking to load up, land the right hand, he had a little bit of success but nothing big uh, Heredia he was actually finding a home for his right hand at times as well but overall Hergovic was the busier not really landing a lot of clean effective punches there was a lot of clubbing shots coming in but probably just enough to nick the round round two Heredia continuing to use his speed Hergovic looking for the uppercut landing a few Heredia actually landed a few nice body shots of his own letting his hands go getting the crowd into it a couple of nice ha right hands and a few body shots landed for Hergovic before the bell enough to give him the round in my view it was a better round for Hergovic he was starting to ease into his work first round looked a little bit scratchy second round a little bit scratchy but slowly sort of warming into things and obviously Heredia who'd um, done quite well I think in the first two rounds looked like he was starting to um, feel the weight of some of those punches which weren't necessarily landing clean but they were starting to take something out of him and Heredia obviously displaying a little bit of bad body language he was complaining constantly to the referee especially in that second round about punches behind the back of the head but I didn't really see too many landing behind the back of the, the head it was uh, seemed to be more complaining for the sake of complaining on Heredia's behalf third round it ended pretty early Hergovic's really starting to find the range now tees off on Heredia um, a number of right hands the odd left hand landing as well and he was down he didn't look completely out of it he um, attempted to get up but he was on wobbly legs and the referee just said no nah, I've seen enough waves it off and that was a good little sequence by Hergovic a really dominant had found his range and Heredia sort of didn't really have any answer couldn't respond and it was all over Heredia uh, loses this one Hergovic advances to 9 and 0 seven KOs on the record now so what do I make of this well this was an expected result I don't think the result was ever really in doubt here. I mean, sure, Heredia had been talking things up in the build-up, saying this is the opportunity he'd been waiting for, he'd prove himself to his uh, home crowd, etc. But I think for most of us, you know, Heredia was a lamb to the slaughter. But I did expect that Filip Hergovic would be a bit more accurate, that he would look a little bit sharper, a little bit slicker than he actually did. He seemed a little scratchy early on. He was smothering his work at times, uh, certainly a little bit upright. Um, and one thing I'm starting to sort of notice about Filip Hergovic is he seems to be at least from what I can see starting to fall in love with the right hand and in terms of how much power he thinks he has he was just constantly looking almost for that one shot at times and yeah I just wonder if he's actually starting to uh, maybe rely on that a little bit too much he did there was less of the sort of slick fighter that I think we know he can be and is known for you know there's the comparisons to Vitaly Klitschko uh, that have been raised before that he's a, a very good fighter uses his um, length well he's got a good jab but he seemed a bit more sort of one-dimensional I want to say in this fight and early on the speed was troubling him from Heredia he it was smothering his work and it sort of seemed to be like he was loading up on a lot of shots and maybe not thinking you know through some of his work maybe as well as he could he started to you know obviously break Heredia down through the second round and then obviously finished him off in the third but yeah it, it certainly wasn't a perfect performance and I do wonder if the inactivity is, is is playing a part here because he's at 9 and 0 now but he's only had two fights in 2019 we're almost uh, what 8 months through the year uh, for a prospect I would have hoped that he'd been a little bit busier than he has been so far because I think the um, one round of action against Greg Corbin what was it back in May and now only two rounds plus change in this fight against Heredia 
I think they need to, you know, I'm not so worried about the caliber of opposition because he's a prospect, less than 10 fights. He needs some experience. Um, he needs to get in there and get a few rounds under his belt to try things with his, uh, that him and his trainer, Pedro Diaz, have been working on. But I just don't know if he's active enough. And you think two fights for a prospect, one of the best prospects in the world right now in 2019, I just think that's a little bit light. And this maybe is a problem that he's going to be finding in his um, career is actually who's going to want to get into the ring with him, especially for small money. At the moment, I mean, Hergovic is not a massive name within the division, but he's a dangerous fighter. Uh, so there's not going to be too many guys who'd want to voluntarily get in there, especially if they're not getting overpaid to do so. And even if you do offer someone a big check, they may not really be enticed to get in there. Hergovic has got three rankings across um, the four sanctioning bodies. He's do, go, heading in the right direction, but I think he needs to be a little bit busier, a little bit more active. And I'm starting to get a little bit concerned that he's really sort of just relying on that right hand a little bit too much. And certainly there was a speed difference in this fight and someone who who uh, maybe has a few more skills than Heredia might be able to exploit that. But I guess, you know, these are things that Hergovic can work on. But I'm seeing less of that really fluid fighter in his last couple of fights than we have previously. And it, it must be noted, he was a career heaviest of 243 pounds. He's uh, a six foot six guy, so that's not too concerning. But as he has sort of bulked up a little bit, he does look like he's maybe just, you know, lost potentially a little bit of that sort of fluidity that he fights with against guys like Heredia it's not really going to be something that's going to catch him out but I think it's just something to just watch and see how he develops is this something where he is really going to try just rely on power punching a bit more than rather than sitting back on his skills or maybe he just thought he could bang this guy out and he didn't need to really go deep into his arsenal yeah we'll have to see where this goes with Hergovic but um, he got the job done here and you know obviously it was a, a decent looking stop looked a little scratchy early on but he got the job done maybe some of that is inactivity at play he obviously has been out of the ring for a few months and he hasn't had a lot of rounds in 2019 so we'll have to see what happens next hopefully they can get him back out in the next sort of you know under two months or so be good to see him fight twice more in 2019 if possible i think at this stage of his career you know getting a few more rounds um and getting a few more fights under his belt rather than just two or three fights a year it's going to be beneficial just to load him up with even if it is similar level opponents but yeah i think he needs to be a bit more active what did you make of it all drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared i'm out